cool. I like the view. So, um, the topic I want to talk about today is facing your fears and not procrastinating anymore and doing big shit. Um, this is not the average, you know, kind of face your fears, you know, just do it anyway video. This is for people like me who are procrastinators because they're perfectionist. Everything has to be fucking perfect so you overanalyze it. And worse, you set big goals. <laughs> so you have huge fucking goals, but you're a procrastinator. So all you do all day is like, oh shit, I want this big fucking thing, but oh my god, yeah, it's too much action. I need to... I need to analyze it more. I need to think about it more. Maybe delay it. Yeah, I need the strategy is not good. The, you know, I need to work on it, basically. Um, yeah, it's a big fucking deal. Like, basically, the that's like one of the major, major things that held me back all my life. Um, I would take... Um, I, let's say most people... Uh, would uh, take um, action like 20 days a week uh, a month I would take action maybe five days a month but I would take such massive action with such such big goals that I would actually get the same or even bigger results than other people um, which even further allowed me to procrastinate because I was like oh you know procrastination it's it's part of the process you know thinking about it and you know getting in contact with yourself but, you know, at one point I was like, fuck it, like, I can't allow myself, sorry, there's flies here. I was like, shit, I can't allow myself to, to procrastinate any fucking more, because if I keep procrastinating, um, I'm just not going to be able to reach certain obligations. Um, so, I found a solution to procrastination. I found my solution, at least, and since I found it, I've been able to pretty much destroy procrastination, which obviously happens because of fear, which made me able to go after my big goals and not procrastinate. And I hope you understand just how massive that shit is. So what I found out was these five mantras that I would use um, that are very logical. They just make sense to me and they just kind of attack the whole procrastination fear angle from all directions um, so this is useful if for example you're into success with women you know you want to approach a lot of women but you can't you know and you like me you like to you know either go out alone or you know just kind of do it yourself you know you don't like being needing the crutch of other people to give you confidence um, so this is one example another example is business um, making cold calls is probably the most useful skill I've ever gathered in business um, again very scary especially if you're asking for large sums of money uh, where I'm making I'm making cold, cold calls to people who don't know me and asking for twenty thousand dollars for coaching so yeah you, you can get that it's a bit scary if you don't have the right mindset um, so the five mantras basically, um, and again, I repeat them, I look at them every single time I find myself procrastinating, which again stems from fear. Um, so the five mantras are number one, there's never been a call or, or, or an approach that I've regretted. Like there's never once in my life uh, been a time where I made like a call to somebody or approached a girl and actually regret doing it no matter how good it went or how bad it always made me feel better about myself it always made me feel like I was doing something you know even if the approach went really really bad I would always be happy that I actually took action and went after it uh, especially you know considering the other option of just you know letting another one go along <laughs> um, so that's the first mantra is that there's never been an approach or a call that I've ever regret so you're like oh okay so that that kind of alleviates fear a bit because you know I'm, I'm not gonna regret it and now number two is that quality the quality of your actions or the results doesn't matter um, what this means is that the very action of facing your fears and actually going after what you want is in of itself the, the thing that um, guarantees success just 
actually going, you know, really going after it, you know what I mean? Like, like not just making a phone call or just making an approach, but actually making the approach or the phone call, you know, the one that scares you. Just doing that in and of itself is, um, means it's a 10 out of 10. Uh, it doesn't matter if it went well, didn't go well, how you did, how the other person reacted. So that takes like the whole pressure off of the performance. You're like, okay, so number one, I'm never going to regret it. That's obvious, you know, especially if you, you're already a person who takes a lot of action. You know you're never going to regret taking action ever. Um, number two, again, the quality doesn't matter. So I don't have to put my best show on. I don't have to make it perfect. And I don't have to manage the reactions because they don't matter either. Um, now, number three is that it's all part of the process. So it's mandatory. It comes with the goal basically that's the third one it's part of a process it comes with the goal so any goal you set like let's say you're making ten thousand dollars a month right now and you want to go to a hundred uh, let's say you take the most basic route you just ask for ten times more money um, to be somebody that deserves ten times more money you have to change like never ask yourself is this goal possible or realistic only ask yourself like how do I actually deserve my goal like like what do I need to become to deserve it so the process is in the doing. So let's say um, you want to get from 10,000 a month to 100,000, again, which means 10 times the prices. You know, you have to set a certain number. Like, okay, I'm going to have to ask, let's say, 1,000 people every month, which is like 30 people a day um, for 10 times more. And I'm going to get to um, 100,000 a month instead of 10,000. So. Um, the very act of doing it, the very act of having the balls to, to ask for it and actually seeing how people react and, and seeing that, you know, taking that action, you know, because I, I assume you are a person that cares, the very act of doing it is what makes you deserve it. You know, you become in the process of doing it a person that deserves it. <sighs> Ask and you shall receive, <laughs> you know, do the thing and you shall have the power. Um, so. Again, the third one is that it's part of the process. So it's not really about the result. The results are automatic once you deserve what you want. So it's more about doing the process and then you deserve it. So you want to go from 10,000 to 100,000. It's part of the process. It's called the pay price to action. It's, you have to pay the price. So might as well, you know, do it, you know. So basically what I tell myself in the third mantra is like, again, it's it's part of the goal, it's part of the process, it's inevitable. So, you know, you can, fine, like you don't want to do it, you don't want to face your fear, okay, just drop the goal. Are you willing to drop the goal? No? Okay, so just fucking do it. Now, the fourth mantra is, well, if you're gonna do it, might as well do it faster. <laughs> so let's say you have a, a hundred calls to make total, well, you know, why you think about it and procrastinate and take like, you know, two days to make a call and, and then you do make a call and then you're like, oh my God, I made a call and now you're thinking about it and now, you know, you do just five calls a day. Like, you know, if you have a certain number, like, you know, you need about a hundred calls to get laid or a hundred approaches or you need a hundred calls to get the money you want. So, you know, or whatever it is, it's always numerical. There's always a number where, you know, you do X amount of something and you're guaranteed to get it. Usually it's what you think times 10. So, you know, you're gonna have to reach that number anyway, so might as well do it faster, right? Like, might as well get, like, you know, just ta -ta 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 -ta, like, 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 <laughs> machine gun the phone, then take a day for everyone. You know, you're gonna, just gonna get to your goal faster, so it just makes sense to do it faster. Uh, and now the fifth mantra, which is kind of the one that wraps it up, is, well, it's your fear, so you're going to have to face it eventually anyway. Um, what this mantra means is that once you discover a fear like that, like once you found something that actually debilitates you, that makes you procrastinate and not want to take action, you're kind of fucked. And the reason you're fucked is because you found a fear. You found something in yourself that you're not willing to face because it scares you. So once you find it, it kind of becomes real and now you can either choose to ignore it for the rest of your life and keep going down <laughs> or you can face it and move up but there's no more coasting because because now you are aware of the fear 
Uh, you know, you can either live to resent yourself and keep going down or you can just fucking do it. So again, once you have the fear, you're like, okay, I have a fear. I'm procrastinating because of it. It scares me. Fuck it. Like you don't have a choice anymore. You either face the fear or, or, or face the consequences of basically decaying while you're alive. So again, these are the four mant- the five mantras. Uh, number one, uh, I'll never regret an approach or a call I've made. Uh, number two, the quality of my efforts or the results doesn't matter. Uh, number three, it's part of the goal, it's part of the process. You know, if you're gonna do it, if you're gonna achieve the goal, you know, might as well do it anyway. Um, the fourth one is you might as well do it faster since you're gonna do it anyway. And the fifth one is, uh, well, once you discover the fear, you're fucked. You have to face it anyway. And when I say face it, I mean fully face it. You know, like you're trying to like, you know, hide, you know, maybe maybe I can may- make the fear a bit less scary. Maybe I can, you know, like if I meditate before I make the call, I'll be less scared. Or maybe, you know, if I think about it, but, but you know, it doesn't work. Like it's like when you go on a plane for the first time and you're scared of airplanes you know, going on an airplane, it's like, no matter how much you read about how safe it is and shit, you're always going to be scared, you know, when you get that, you know, jumpingness in the plane, you're you're always going to get scared from air pocket. So you can't prepare for it, you know what I mean? Like, you're going to have to fully face the fear and no amount of preparation is going to make it any less painful. But on the other hand, it's not really painful because, you know, it's really just what's painful is like you embracing for something dangerous when you find out nothing was actually dangerous anyway so again these are the five mantras Uh, i'll say it one last time Um, so number one um, i've never regretted a call or an approach i've made number two the quality of my efforts or the results does not matter at all Number three, it's part of the goal, it's part of the process. You know, if you're not gonna give up on the goal, you might as well do it anyway. Uh, number four, might as well do it faster. And number five, I forgot. <laughs> but I hope you, you liked it. Um, I always refer to them whenever I'm scared of doing something and they allow me to instantly do it. Um, I hope it helps you. You know, if you're like me, like a per- perfectionist, big goal procrastinator guy and then i believe it's the perfect fit for you um let me know how it helped you see you soon